the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers' 13th historic landmark designation in 1980 is the Ann Arbor Baler. For over 1,000 years, the farmers in the northern climates have made hay to feed domestic animals. With the growth of cities in the 19th century came an urban market for hay, a cash crop for many farmers. But making hay was weather dependent, time consuming, and strenuous. Transporting loose hay to market was difficult and inefficient. An obvious solution was to compress the loose hay into dense and more easily handled bales. Early balers were hand fed and powered with horses walking in a circle. The wire tie baler, developed at the end of the 19th century, had its own engine but operated as a stationary machine moved by a team of horses. One man would feed the cured hay to the baler with uniform forkfuls of hay, being careful not to get the fork caught. Two other men tied the wires around the compressed bales. At least four workers were needed overall. Field harvesting of hay was improved with the invention and use of a hay loader. The loader picked up hay windrows and elevated them onto the hay wagon. The hay loader smoothly fed hay to the men on the wagon who carefully anchored the hay to endure the trip to the barn. In 1929, Raymore McDonald took the baling operation to the field. Financed by Horace Tallman and his sons, McDonald joined the functions of the hay loader and the baler into a single field machine that picked up the wind road hay and fed it directly into the baler. A tractor driver and the wire tying men were the total crew. This new field baler reduced labor and accelerated the hay harvest to avoid bad weather. The first commercial pickup baler was marketed for many years by the Ann Arbor Machine Company. The windrow pickup mechanism was adapted to over a million machines by 1980. The Ann Arbor baler, manufactured in Shelbyville, Illinois, was purchased in 1943 by the Oliver Corporation. PH Manufacturing is the current occupant of this building, erected on the original site. An ASABE historic plaque for the Ann Arbor Baylor is mounted on a stone contributed by PH Manufacturing in the Memorial Plaza in front of the Shelby County Courthouse.